Hello, McEachern artists, family, and friends. Today is Thursday, May 21st, 2020, your official graduation ceremony day. Today is my favorite day of the year, not because summer is about to start, but because today my teacher duty is to put on this cap and gown, or gown, I guess, and escort the senior class onto our football field where you walk across the stage one last time as a high school student. Usually, today I'm taking selfies with all of my art babies and we laugh and cry and hug and say our goodbyes. But this year is different. Today I don't get to hug you or even see you, but that doesn't make you any less deserving of the honor of graduating and having a ceremony. Most of you I have known since your freshman year. I've had the privilege of teaching you in multiple art courses, watch you grow as artists and as people in VA Comp, Drawing 1, Drawing 2, Drawing and Painting 1, Painting 2, Jewelry and Metalwork, Ceramics 1 and 2, Sculpture, and AP Studio Art. Most of you are also in the National Art Honor Society, which means that you probably spent more time in my classroom over the last four years than you have at home. We have laughed together, cried together, fought together, and grown together. We've traveled to New York, Tennessee, South Carolina, Columbus, Dahlonega, Atlanta, and many more places. You have participated in art shows, competitions, GHP, festivals, parades, college visits, and visiting artists. You've given up your Saturdays to face paint or stayed after school way past dinner time to arrange carnations, set up art shows, count and weigh shoes, ooh, that was a crazy year, <laughs> or just to help me keep the classroom clean. For a few of you, this was your first semester in my classroom, and I want you to know that even though our semester was cut short, I enjoyed every minute that you were in my class. You can ask just about anyone. I have been so happy this semester. I can't believe how lucky I was that I had a group of classes on extended day where all of my kids were talented, well-behaved, hardworking, and had a passion for art. To all of my senior children, I have loved being your art mom. I hope that our time spent together, I have impacted you even just a little bit as much as you all have impacted me. I hope that you've learned to see that art can be more than just a hobby, but that your creativity and talents can be the driving force in your success as a human being. You are not a number or a test score, and life is never going to present itself to you in the form of a multiple choice question. But you, as an artist, have an advantage. You will always see the world differently than everyone else. You will find new solutions, you will think outside the box, and you will see things for what they can be instead of what they appear to be. I cannot wait to see what wonderful people you will all become. My classroom and my heart will always be open to you. And until I can properly tell you goodbye in person, please remember that even though life throws you curveballs, you will always have me cheering you on. Don't hesitate on good opportunities and live your life to the fullest. I would like to acknowledge each of you individually for the wonderful things that you have accomplished in my classroom. I know this isn't TikTok, but I've made you this video and I hope that you all like it. It is a very small gesture on my part to show off what wonderful students you have been these past four years. I love you so much and I am so proud of you.